Welcome to Bite at a Time Books, where we read you your favorite classics one bite at a time. My name is Brie Carlisle, and I love to read and wanted to share my passion with listeners like you. If you want to know what's coming next and vote on upcoming books, sign up for our newsletter at biteatatimebooks.com. You'll also find our new t-shirts in the shop, including podcast shirts and quote shirts from your favorite classic novels. Be sure to follow my show on your favorite podcast platform so you get all the new episodes. You can find most of our links in the show notes. But also our website, biteatatimebooks.com, includes all of the links for our show, including to our Patreon to support the show, and YouTube, where we have special behind the narration of the episodes. We're part of the Bite at a Time Books Productions Network. If you'd also like to hear what inspired your favorite classic authors to write their novels, and what was going on in the world at the time, check out the Bite at a Time Books Behind the Story podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts. Please note, while we try to keep the text as close to the original as possible, some words have been changed to honor the marginalized communities who've identified the words as harmful and to stay in alignment with Bite at a Time Books brand values. Today we'll be continuing Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Chapter 8. The Death of a Horse The <laughs> dinners are better at Eden's than at Bombarda's exclaimed Zephine. I prefer Bombarda to Eden, declared Blachevelle. There is more luxury. It is more Asiatic. Look at the room downstairs. There are mirrors on the walls. I prefer them on my plate, said Favorite. Blachevelle persisted. Look at the knives. The handles are of silver at Bombarda's and of bone at Eden's. Now silver is more valuable than bone. Except for those who have a silver chin observed Tholomyes. He was looking at the dome of the Invalides, which was visible from Bombarda's windows. A pause ensued. Tholomyes, exclaimed Femiel. Listolier and I were having a discussion just now. A discussion is a good thing, replied Tholomyes. A quarrel is better. We were disputing about philosophy. Well, which do you prefer? Niscardias or Spinoza? De Sargiers, said Tholomyes. This decree pronounced, he took a drink and went on. I consent to live. All is not at an end on earth, since we can still talk nonsense. For that, I return, thanks to the immortal gods. We lie. One lies, but one laughs. One affirms, but one doubts. The unexpected bursts forth from the syllogism. That is fine. There are still human beings here below who know how to open and close a surprise box of the paradox merrily. This, ladies, which you are drinking with so tranquil an air, is Madeira wine. You must know from the vineyard of Coral de Freres, which is 317 fathoms above the level of the sea. Attention while you drink. 317 fathoms. And Monsieur Bombarda... The magnificent eating housekeeper gives you those 317 fathoms for four francs and fifty centimes. Again, Fomiel interrupted him. Tholomyes, your opinions fixed the law. It was your favorite author. Bear Quinn. No shoe. And Tholomyes continued. Honored a Bombarda. He would equal Munifus of Elephanta if he could but get me an Indian dancing girl. And Thigelian of Chaeronea, if he could bring me a Greek courtesan. For ladies, there were Bombardas in Greece and in Egypt. Apelius tells us of them. Alas, always the same and nothing new. Nothing more unpublished by the creator in creation. Nil sub sole novum, says Solomon. Amor omnibus idem, says Virgil. And Carabine mounts with Carabin into the bark at St. Cloud as Aspasia embarked with Pericles upon the fleet at Samos. One last word. Do you know what Aspasia was, ladies? Although she lived at an epoch when women had, as yet, no soul, she was a soul, a soul of a rosy and purple hue, more ardent-hued than fire, fresher than the dawn. Aspasia was a creature in whom two extremes of womanhood met. She was the goddess prostitute, Socrates plus Manon the Scot. Aspasia was created in case a mistress should be needed for Prometheus. 
Ptolemaeus once started would have found some difficulty in stopping, had not a horse fallen down upon the quay just at that moment. The shock caused the cart and the orator to come to a dead halt. It was a buceron mare, old and thin, and one fit for the knacker, which was dragging a very heavy cart. On arriving in front of Bombardo's, the worn-out, exhausted beast had refused to proceed any further. This incident attracted a crowd. Hardly had the cursing and indignant Carter had time to utter with proper energy, the sacramental word, Matin, the jade, backed up with a pitiless cut of the whip when the jade fell never to rise again. On hearing the hubbub made the passers-by, Tholomyes, merry auditors turned their heads, and Tholomyes took advantage of the opportunity to bring his allocution to a close with this melancholy strophe. El etet de sa Monday us couscous at carasosis, ons le mem destin, et rose el vecu se qui vivant le rosis, le espace d'un matin. Poor horse, sighed Fantine. And Dahlia exclaimed, There is Fantine on the point of crying over horses. How can one be such a pitiful fool as that? At that moment, favorite, holding her arms and throwing her head back, looked resolutely at Tholomyes and said, Come now, the surprise. Exactly. The moment has arrived, replied Tholomyes. Gentlemen, the hour for giving these ladies a surprise has struck. Wait for us a moment, ladies. It begins with a kiss, said Blachevelle. On the brow, added Tholomyes. H gravely bestowed a kiss on his mistress's brow. Then all four filed out through the door with their fingers on their lips. Favorite clapped her hands on their departure. It is beginning to be amusing already, said she. Don't be too long, murmured Fantine. We are waiting for you. Thank you for joining Bite at a Time Books today. While we read a bite of one of your favorite classics. Again, my name is Brie Carlyle, and I hope you come back tomorrow for the next bite of Les Miserables. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter at biteatatimebooks.com and check out the shop. You can check out the show notes or our website, biteatatimebooks.com, for the rest of the links for our show. We'd love to hear from you on social media as well.